Hi, I am Sheikh Shakir Iqbal. I presently work as a senior design engineer at LG Soft India. Uh, we, I am a part of the backend team of the mobile application processors group. So conventionally, what a sign off environment has been done in GBA environment. Although even though, although it was much more pessimistic, but it was very much friendly in terms of runtime. Now, however, because our design complexities as well as QR requirement in terms of performance and power have increased, we have been forced to move towards a sign off that is much more realistic. And hence, we have come forth with the PB analysis. So we have known so far that uh, tools like Tempest are well adept for using PBA based analysis and they are good enough for the sign off. Then because of the handling of physical data as well as other associated data of implementation, it becomes very difficult for an implementation tool to handle PBA. But if we want to reap the benefits of PBA in an implementation environment, what we need to do is try to extract the same benefits of the PBA into the GBA environment of this implementation flow such as Innovus or EDI. Now to do so, what we do is we take out the path-based slacks from the Tempest environment which is able to support both GBA and PBA. Take out a medium slack differential across the slack buckets and coupling these paths, we try to estimate what is like some sort of median margin that we are getting in slacks within the PBA versus GBA environment. Additionally, inside the implementation, as a relaxed uncertainty, so that these paths in GBA, they may still violate, but in terms of PBA, they will be still able to meet the QR that we want. So conventionally, we try to model the common, uncommon path skew in our designs through means of a variable called CPVR threshold. But in case of GBA, we know that latencies are always going to be higher than PBA. So in Tempest, what we see is specifically in modes like shift and scan shift modes uh, that the CPPR value, the adjustment that we see in case of PBA, it increases as compared to GBA. So now this means that I do not need to add so many hold buffers. I already get a hold margin through means of modeling of PBA and GBA. This allows us to save a significant number of hold buffers while still retaining the same sign of quality through the means of Tempest PBA and hence we get, reap the benefits of PBA in a GBA environment. So now, uh, when we have applied all the benefits of proposed methodologies for porting the PBA environment into the GBA cockpit of Innovus, we discovered that by using the recommended methodology, we were able to gain approximately 23% additional leakage by, with a slight reduction in dynamic power by approximately 5%, and also in addition to this, we were able to reduce the area of the SOC block by 2.4%. So this uh, whole data is based on a taped out SOC, uh, SOC block and it uh, kind of like justifies that porting the benefits of PBA into GBA environment to the proposed methodology will lead towards QR improvement.